conscientious mind will have the opportunity of learning about Tao and the way back to heaven. It always holds true that people who had the fortune of receiving Tao are derived from the tree of righteous ancestors. In addition, during the passage of Tao, it is required that we make promises to God that, a. After we receive Tao, we will keep in mind the true meaning of Tao and put it into action in our daily life. What we speak and what we do will all be based on our conscience. B. After we receive Tao, we offer help to those in need of it and do our best to indicate Tao to more people so that they can all benefit from the grace of God. C. After we attain the three treasures, we promise not to tell them to any other person. The three treasures can only be transmitted through authorized masters in front of God. If we reveal them to any person, they become invalid to the person, and we also defy the heavenly decree. All the promises required are reasonable and achievable. It goes with our nature. If we practice and keep the promises, we will be able to become a wiser and a better person. We will become merciful, and nurture the good seed of doubt planted in our mind. One last thing to mention is that one of the reasons we are able to receive doubt is due to the good deeds of our ancestors. Therefore, as we persistently practice doubt, our ancestors will also benefit from it and so will our descendants. As long as you are prepared for the above mentioned, you are qualified to receive Tao, no matter what nationality, race, or religion you belong to. Notes, in order to be exempted from the rebirth cycles, to avoid the ordeal of hell, to alleviate the suffering and misfortunes in our lives, and to be able to return back to heaven after death and enjoy permanent happiness, we have to receive Tao. And the general qualifications are, 1. To be with a compassionate heart, and to be fortunate enough to be born in a time when Tao is available to the public. 2. To have sowed the seeds of virtue by helping many people and offering lots of charitable services in the previous lives. This is the divine affinity with God. 3. To have ancestors with beneficences and welfare work as well. 4. To meet the introducer and guarantor who indicate the way to attain Tao to me. It is very likely that, in the previous lives, we did charitable services together, or we sell C-U-L-T-I-V-A-T-E-D together in the same religion. So, in this life, when Tao is available, we can help each other out and practice Tao together again. So time is ripe for Tao due to our divine affinity. D.I. What impact does receiving DAO have on Emmy as we mentioned before, and like the old days when hermits had to leave their families to receive Tao through meditation and self-cultivation, Tao, at the present time, can be received in a way that is applicable and conforming to our practical needs. We don't have to give up our lifestyle in order to attain Tao. By the grace of God, 
Thou is intended to be delivered to the public at all levels of occupations and around the world, rather than being limited to a privileged group of people. The impacts that receiving Thou can have on our daily life are summarized as the following, A receiving Thou creates no conflicts with any religions Thou governs the universe including all human beings. It existed before the formation of any religions. It is concordant with all religions in the sense that religions preach the awareness of conscience and the pursuit of the truth. We don't he need to give up our religion in order to receive Tao. On the contrary, by receiving Tao, we will have further understanding of the truth. The conscience becomes our ultimate guidance due to the variations of cultures, customs, backgrounds, legislation, and value systems. It is difficult to find a universal guideline for all of us to follow in our daily life. In receiving Tao, the main commandment is to act by our conscience the true self, rather than by literature. We should be sensitive to the conscience, rather than be familiar with the laws. See, we will voluntarily keep the promise made while receiving Tao through receiving Tao. We are not offered conscience or true self but merely the opening of the door to a wisdom and mercy. Therefore, we restore the heavenly principles inherent in us, and strengthen the power originating from our conscience. There is no external force that makes us keep the promises and commitments that we made when we received Tao. The only force comes from the guilty feelings that result from our misbehaviors, which reduces the mistakes we make. Deep practicing Tao can accommodate our worldly affairs the fulfillment of practicing Tao and conscientious awareness does not have to be accomplished in a temple or church. It is not required to abandon worldly belongings or relationships in order to attain the ultimate truth. Each individual can still have his slash her family, career, and schooling at the same time. As long as we keep in mind the basic guideline we should have our practicing Tao and getting closer to our Divine Self. We will make a better world by improving ourselves first after we receive Tao, by realizing the True Self and what we are, the feeling of joy comes to us. The improvements on the quality of our spiritual life will affect people surrounding us. By interacting and working together in Tao, we will make the world better with lower crime rate and less pollution. The wish of Maitreya will finally come true to turn the world into God's kingdom and make people all live in harmony. D.I.I. What can attest the validity of D.A.O. Dao, due to its completeness and generality, regulates the totality of all beings. Many people, after receiving Dao, with their wisdom, faith, and devotion, realize that Tao is the fundamental principle that governs all things. They comprehend the truth of the universe not only through literature, but also through daily living and nature. 
their faith in Tao becomes strengthened and they move forward in their spiritual life. However, for people who haven't he or just received Tao, Tao can be confirmed through revelations. A anyone who has received Tao with the front door open shall die peacefully. One proof of this is that for those who have received Tao and died, their bodies remain soft and their faces vivid. Since the soul leaves the body through the correct exit, the corpse can actually remain UN corroded for a few days. With the most advanced modern science and technology, it is still difficult to explain this phenomenon. However, it is a fact that cannot be denied. This has happened before in some religions, but very rarely. For people who have received Tao, this kind of testimony is ubiquitous, unless they have committed serious sins and corrupted their own mind. This can prove the soul has reached an ultimate harmony. Be being the superintendent of the things on earth, human beings are nonetheless weak. Since birth, we are subject to unpredictable accidents and natural disasters. There have been many people who encountered danger, used the three treasures with faith, and got away from the danger or reduced the damage to the minimum. Testimonies of this kind are numerous. The above two mentioned are rarely heard of and difficult to believe, but they are the immediate security given by God once a person has received Tao. Thereafter, with each individual as faith, wisdom, and the accumulation of good deeds, one will come to know the truth more and more. It is up to you to experience the value of this treasure. I hope you will have the opportunity to receive Tao, experience it in your life, achieve ultimate perfection, and realize eternity. Sai 
群，金山关子将日前前，一切六六不救，金树是一在金不救，小马飞粮在天，利剑在井，上九抗粮有红。永久见君良不朽，是团圆在在天圆，万物自始乃通天，天行无始，天无地行，在天上始，六位是行。七星六亮，一如天，天多变化，各将善良，波合太和，乃离天。九十四个万国含量，相国天行变，君子与自强，不学善良不养，养在下呀。天凉在天，一时土也；香的清甜，欢喝多也；热热在天，心不久也；微凉在天，在人去也；空凉又会，心不可久也；永久。天地不可为修也，文言话，管家先是讲也，先家家是好也，李家李是好也，先家是是干也，君子天人则以良人，大户则以合理，礼物则以合宜。天高则以善事，君子行事自得下。各话天官天地天，何久善良不养何为也？此话两德的恩德也，不要何事不行何变？本地不本，不见事的不本，不要显示，要接位置，他何必不可挂？善良也，就是话，善良在天，利剑在人，何为也？是话，两别。李清江日日，永远之信，永远之信，汉家准之信，现世李不发，一刻李发，一刻天良在天，李健在人，官德也，金山万。君子将日清天，切切略略不丢。何为也？是话君子尽的事业，用心所以尽的事，修福的之前，所以古业也。知之知之，何无知也？是将将之靠正的呀，是个故乡为的不骄，在下为的不骄，可天天有的是的去，谁为无骄？
境，讲起相求，气热时，热就热，寒将凉，风将下，心如竹篱，难不倒。任何天下天下，任何地下天下，这各种滋味呀。上九话，看两有会何为呀？九话，君子不问，死的不明，天人在下为之不富。是以当地优惠呀，善良的养下呀，善良在点是下呀，善的天权相属呀，善恶在天属起呀，善良在天相比呀，善良优惠养一代呀，善缘永久。天下事呀，善良的样，样是善长；善良在天，天下文明。善的天权，无始在天；善恶在天，天多难得。善良在天，难为何天得？善良有何，无始在天。天元永久，乃见天界。天元家，是的心界呀，是真家，心境呀。天是仁义，利的是天下，不然遭的灾一灾。灾在天下，光天将降，天水天呀。两阿发挥，双方竞价，七仙的两一五天，分享不息，天下平呀。关注一仙的五行，一颗金之星呀，天之五行呀，天的五行，天的五行，是一关注。各样呀，关注合一自己，愿意编制，欢意固执，愿意行事，一话善良在天，利剑在人，关注呀，铁三阳光立不僵，相不在天，下不在天。各天天，一地是一切，水为无尽，就是阳光里不亮，香不在天，下不在天，香不在人，各一字一字下，一字下，各无尽，苦在人下，苦天地下地地。我是个学的人，我是先学的书，我归先学的笔下。先天的天为，后天的后天是，天天为，你学的人好，学的归先好。孔子尊严也，一见的不低头，一见的不低动。一德立不地上，第一信人好，是敬佩尊王，立不是敬天下，第一信人好。